Our planet's flowers and crops produce many useful chemical substances. But one class in particular, isoprenoid secondary metabolites, offer a source of compounds that can be uniquely beneficial or economically valuable to humankind. Left to their own devices, however, most plants either produce tiny amounts of these compounds or make them very slowly, and chemical synthesis is costly and environmentally fraught. The Metapro research project is trying to find a reliable and biologically renewable source of these useful compounds. We want to develop a green factory for producing these useful compounds in uh, naturally occurring uh, plant organs like potato tubers and, and tomato fruit um, and in a way that doesn't rely on chemical synthesis and products from the uh, petrochemical industry. The Metapro team at Dundee are concentrating on enhancing the production of the isoprenoid astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid, a colorant producing an orange to pink shade. It's also an antioxidant that's believed to have a number of health benefits, including protection against a range of chronic diseases. Selecting a suitable plant to act as the green factory for the production of astaxanthin was crucial. The potato is, uh, is a good crop uh, for this project because it has a natural storage organ that accumulates uh, valuable compounds. Uh, it has a predisposition to accumulate this sort of compound, so we just need to change it a little bit uh, to uh, accumulate the astaxanthin. That change is achieved by introducing into the potato the genes from another plant species, algae, a natural producer of astaxanthin in the wild. Tubers uh, don't normally accumulate astaxanthin, but by using genetic engineering, uh, we're able to insert these genes from species which naturally accumulate astaxanthin. We use a bacterium called agrobacterium. Agrobacterium is a natural genetic engineer. Um, we're able to introduce some genes into this agrobacterium strain, which in turn uh, introduces the, the genes into potato plant. It's a carefully controlled process carried out in sealed conditions to exclude the possibility of contamination with the outside environment. And traditional breeding methods also have a role in this project. There's a lot of natural variation within all the different types of uh, potato. And so some potato types actually have uh, the genes that are useful already. And it's just a matter of marking those genes for introduction uh, by natural breeding into uh, a better uh, commercial variety. Analysis of the expression of genes using microarray technology can help researchers judge which ones are key to the production of the carotenoid. There's about 40,000 genes are expressed in a potato and each spot on the microarray represents one of these genes and the colour of the spot represents uh, whether or not it's turned on or off or the degree to which it's turned on and so we can associate genes that are switched on or off uh, with what's happening in the pathway. But understanding the role of genes in the process only tells the scientists part of the story. They also need to examine the structure of the plant cell to find out where the astaxanthin accumulates. Metapro PhD student Stefania Passare has been overseeing the use of enzyme trackers to delve into the cell biology. Considerable progress has already been made and further advances could help the team elevate the amount of astaxanthin they're already collecting. I think we've made some breakthroughs already. Uh, we've, uh, we've shown that we can actually uh, persuade the potato to accumulate quite reasonable economically significant levels of, of astaxanthin. We've also identified new mechanisms uh, which break down the carotenoids and we're working to remove those from the potato. Um, and and we've, we've got some uh, clues about uh, the site of synthesis of the compound. Additionally, I should say that uh, some genetic studies in, in uh, combination with the new information we're getting about the potato genome, which has just been elucidated, uh, has enabled us to, to look at some of the storage mechanisms. And we're quite excited about the potential of, of those results. The research team in Dundee is one of eight partners involved in various aspects of the Metapro project. Work's also being carried out in London, 
and in Germany, Israel, Italy and Romania. This multidisciplinary, pan-European approach to collaboration has already delivered significant progress towards the Metapro goal of producing cheap, renewable sources of secondary metabolites. Scientists are optimistic of making further advances as the project continues. Here we have a, a normal control potato. Um, it's actually a sort of uh, one, pale yellow fleshed colour. Uh, whereas the experimental one that we've been developing, hopefully, we can see it's got this uh, pinky orange uh, colour, and that's due to the astaxanthin that's accumulating in it. And this is, this is uh, one of our earlier prototypes. We, we believe we'll be able to get more of this pinky orange colour into the tuber, and the more we get, the better the factory it is for uh, producing this compound. 